Hello, and welcome to the Schooner Simulation. I'm your host, Michael Whitman, and today's episode is sponsored by Raycon. Get 15% off today when you use code TPPN15 at checkout. Baylor comes to Norman this week as both teams hope to find a third win to keep their streak alive. Today, we'll be analyzing Baylor versus Oklahoma in college football revamp using the updated rosters courtesy of the Operation Sports Forum. Be sure to check the description for links to all our resources. I decided Baylor will dress in their silver and gold alternates while OU sticks with their traditional crimson. The Schooner Weather Composite is claiming that it'll be 63 degrees with a 15 mile an hour wind and heavy overcast. A chance of rain exists, so an umbrella might suit you well. OU defers and looks to continue their phenomenal defensive performance from last week. While our pass protection could definitely use some work, our defensive line stood their ground when it mattered. Inducing some pressure on Blake Shapin seems to be an effective strategy and has the supplemental benefit of making Richard Reese's life more difficult as well. The entirety of the defense, secondary and all, showed up for the pivotal moments like we needed them to. Their only weakness really seems to be the quickdowns going for more than expected, but even then, finding the end zone was a rare event for the Baylor offense. Overall, a great showing from our defense. Our offense came out swinging this week. Eric Ray remains as reliable as ever, acting as our workhorse on the ground. Dylan Gabriel wasn't given too many passing opportunities this go-round, more than likely due to the weakness in our offensive line, which stifled our production. But Gabriel's running impact finally shone through in the sim, a trait we've seen more than a few times on the field in real life already. The only issue is, once again, ball security. Another fumble going for six puts Baylor ahead and shows how the offense ends up burying themselves. Every time the ball is on our side, it gets suspenseful to watch. At the end of this gritty showing, OU mounts a miracle drive to eke ahead, and a pick in the end zone seals it. The Sooners squeak out a win, 14-13. Taking the under based on this performance might look appealing, but hold on a moment. Looking at the Super Sims I ran, whoever struck first ended up coming out on top, but it was a battle to stay there. If OU can hit the ground running and just stay on top after the fact, we have a real shot at taking down the ex-Big 12 champions. However, this Baylor team situation seems extremely identical to our own, from their struggles to their record to their player woes. It'll almost be like playing ourselves, and to beat oneself, one must know thyself and push through those limits. If one thing is key to victory here, it's to keep playing until the whistle on every play. Go ahead and leave your predictions for this game in the comments below. Then, tune in to hear Bobby Ty and Jameson over on the pod preview this week's matchup.